How's everyone doing today? Good. good. Yeah, I'm doing good too. So today in class we're going to learn about triangles and the different types of triangles. Um, can anyone anyone tell me what's one of the types of triangles? Yeah, Jasmine. Equilateral. That's good. Um, does anyone know what that means? An equilateral triangle. Yeah, Catherine. It means that all of the sides are the same length. Exactly, and you can tell that just by looking at the word because equi is like equal and lateral is from the sides, so equal sides. Now, does anyone know another type of triangle? That's okay. Um, the second type of triangle is an isosceles triangle, and what that means is that two of the sides are going to be the same, but one of them has to be different. Uh, and the last type of triangle is a scalene triangle in which all the sides have to be completely different. None of the sides are the same. Um, now we're going to do a quick activity called a think pair share. And uh, I want you guys to try to think when you encounter a triangle in a math problem, how you can figure out what type of triangle it is, like how do you know. Um, and you're going to think about that for a minute and then you're going to pair up and you're going to tell each other your ideas and then you're going to share with the whole class what you guys thought of. So yeah, you can have a quick minute to think about it and if you want to write it down on paper to commit to something, that's also fine. So now you guys are going to pair up and talk to each other about the ideas you have to figure out how you know what type of triangle it is. So, go ahead. Alright, what ideas do you have? Oh, what are you talking about? You can okay. sometimes tell about the sides of the angles. Uh, you can see a triangle. But what about the angles? You can just see the angles are the same. Yeah, and in the equilateral triangle, they're the same. So if you know the angles are the same, you know it's an equilateral. Wow, you're so smart. Roughly oh, no. measure it with like your pencil it's just and, like, and like mark it off and then like measure the other side. I was thinking that maybe it was like in the problem the they were telling you about it. Oh, that could be it. That's even better than my idea. Do you do no, I think, think your idea was there. really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's important to have an objective measure. So we should. Alright, everyone. Now we're going to share the class. Um, Jasmine, you've been, what did you guys talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you see a triangle, you can see if the sides look the same length or not, or you can like measure it if you have a ruler, or you can use like just a measuring stick and mark it off, and then yeah. compare it to the other side. Exactly. And what's one advantage of having it be the ruler instead of just looking at it? So you can be for sure that they're the same or different. Exactly, because when you look at it, it's very easy to make mistakes. Good job. Catherine and Amy? Well, I was thinking that sometimes when you read the problem, it tells you in the problem about the lengths of the triangles. Exactly. And sometimes the problem just says it's an isosceles triangle, which is why it's important you know the names too and not just how they work. Yeah. Um, Amy, I heard you guys talking a little bit about angles. Can you tell the whole class about that? Oh, yeah, I was thinking if some of the angles are the same, then maybe that the sides might be the same too. Yeah, that's exactly right. So in an equilateral triangle, all of the angles are going to be the same. And in an isosceles triangle, two are going to be the same. And in a scalene triangle, all of the angles are going to be completely different. Now, some other ways you can tell if it's um, what type of triangle is it. Because when we draw things, <laughs> you can just see, you can look at it, but sometimes it's not well drawn. So there's a way to signify that it's actually an equilateral triangle by like making a mark through it. So then this means that all sides are the same, even if they don't look it. Because, you know, drawing, I can also make mistakes. And with an isosceles triangle, you can make two marks to show that these are the same, and want to show that this one's different. In a scalene triangle, this is going to be the same. And these, no, all of them are going to be different. I'm sorry. Uh, now, sometimes it can be a little hard to remember the names. So we're going to do a quick chant to help you figure that out. So first, scalene, we're going to say scalene. And then for isosceles, we're going to say 
isosceles. And for equilateral, we're going to say equilateral. And the number of claps equals the number of sides that are the same in the triangle. All right, so now we're going to all try to do it together. Um, all right, one, two, three. Scaly, isosceles, equilateral. All right, good job, everyone. Uh, thank you so much.